Resilience is about the ability to absorb a shock and recover. It's the ability actually to survive and to thrive thereafter. And one of the key questions is, how quickly are we able to organize ourselves, either in advance or, or particularly after an event has happened, in order to recover as quickly as possible, as much as possible, to allow a return to a more satisfying, stable environment. I believe that awareness of the nature of risk and how an event in one area, a NATCAT event, a political disturbance, power outages, can impact somewhere else in the globe as a result of globalization, result of long supply chains, is quite important. So I'm glad that people have an increased awareness of the risk. I think the risk that we see now and the degree of interconnectedness requires us to find allies, partners, to team up, to think about what are the exposures that we face, which exposures should we try to mitigate to reduce the risk, and where do we need to adapt? to actually adjust the way society functions in order to respond to some of the changes. The countries, the local governments, are the insurers of last resort. And society is, in fact, picking up a relatively significant cost as a result of not being as proactive as we might. We need to look for partnerships. We need to make global agreements. We need to think not only about mitigation, where we can mitigate, we should, but we need to think about adaptation changing our building codes, thinking about what it means to have an increased level of urbanization. How do we ensure that we have backups for critical infrastructure? How do we ensure that at a country level we have the ability to respond quickly whenever a crisis hits? These are the things I think we should and can be doing.